In this video, we are going to show you how to do a brand voice analysis using free tools and AI. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't give a crap about tone and voice. I just write the way I write. But if you're a new copywriter and you want to impress your clients with your abilities, then this is something that you might want to do. And now I'm going to switch over and one of our copy skills members, Keith Howard, is going to show you how he does a brand voice analysis using free tools and AI. Oh, and if you want a copy of the PDF that Keith is working on, what you need to do is create a free copy skills account. You'll find the link in the description and then just reply to the welcome message that we send you. Let us know that you want the brand voice PDF and we'll send you a copy. I spent the last like year writing in the women's sexual wellness and hormone health niche. So I had to get pretty good voice. And I'm gonna show you how I do it for clients and all the prompts are in here, everything you need is in here. It's gonna be an information binge, but just take it piece by piece. So what we want, what you're gonna get at the end of this is basically, so I took the company, just random company, and I took all of their homepage, the text on their homepage, and I used it and AI and this book, which is what they hear when you write, you can find it. It's free. Just type in what they hear when you write PDF and it's right here. So basically what this, the goal here is to show that more about voice than the client and you're conscious of it and you'll get way less edits if you do it this way, because they'll think you're a pro. And the clients always have that thing. They always have doubt in the back of their head. So this is how I get around it. My new client, I'm sending them this before I even turn in the copy, just to wow them. So here's what you do. Basically, start out here. So my first prompt, so I download the book and then I use Poe for AI, but this is GPT-4 and first prompt here i upload the book which you can do right here just like that and just a little prompt read it and tell me about the nine specific brand voices and it gives me an output I, you got to make sure it's correct you need to read the book okay and then next i said basically play the role of a brand voice analysis machine i'd like you to make a table with rows and columns and then i give it a bunch of stuff that i want it to analyze and then i give it the text so this is the text from the website but i clean it up you got to clean it up first because web copy is really choppy and you'll get weird results and usually i do i'll do three pieces of content so i'll do either socials or paid ads like facebook ads the website and then email. So I'll have the top, the middle, and the bottom of the funnel. This one, I'm just doing one. So this is just an example. But if we go down here, so this is the text I use. It's the same from the website, but I just took out a lot of the, like, where is it? Where is it? Like this stuff, I took it out. Because it's so choppy that you won't get an accurate representation of the brand voice. That's a problem with analyzing web copy. But once you clean it up, and by clean it up, I just mean you just want to make sure you have mostly sentences and not, you know, little tiny words by themselves. Because the tools do analyze punctuation. And punctuation is really important. And we'll get to that later. So we pop this in here and we get our output. Okay. So this is everything I want in here. This is okay. And you like, I don't know, you can decide which one of these are most important. I think I actually told it to add a couple columns or rows that it thought was important, but then I'm going to tell it again. Okay. Give me more granular information. I'm not really being specific. I should be more specific, but the other thing I ask it to do is give me a list of six things that this brand should and should not say. So again, it's just going to give me a little bit better. If you compare these two tables, this one's kind of lazy. This one's a, a bit better, I would say. But this one here is pretty useful because it shows that you're thinking about their voice. So I would actually put this into 
document. So we've got a little blurb up here. So what's their archetype? And again, that's in this book. You need to read the book. And just a little blurb about what that means and their business, dun, dun, dun. And again, usually I do this with three pieces of copy, not just one. But we've got a table here and then I'm going to put this guy. Okay, is it, damn it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put this guy in too. And this here would be what I sent to the client. So I'd say, hey, I did a voice analysis sheet sheet. Your archetype is the translator. You, what you do versus other brands is you take really complicated things and you make them simple. I broke down your gender. It's masculine, pretty heavily masculine. So here's the gender analysis tool and all the links are in this doc. I'll give you guys all the links for this stuff. And then the writing style is brand copy, not direct response, which is important. The reading level, grade 18, no, grade 11, sorry. But this, you can't trust this in chat GPT. It'll get it wrong sometimes. What you need to use is this one. So it's verbatim by Brand Voice Academy. And so here's my text that I used before from the website. And then I had the AI just write an email. Where is it? I had the AI just write an email at the bottom here. Write me a welcome email for this brand about 400 tokens long. And then I plug that in here. This over here is this guy. This over here is this guy. So this is the website and this is it. Let's, this is my email, let's say. So first off, right away, the reading level is wrong. You can also go through here, but they've got 14 uses of passive voice. I only have two. If we go through tone and sentiment, it's the same. We look at the vocabulary. Let's see, what's the ratio here? So we've got about four to one. So this is a little bit off. And if we look at the word lengths here, this is actually pretty good. This should look the same is what I mean. You don't need to like really overthink it. But if we go down here, you can see I'm in a lot of trouble already. Commas for 100 sentence, 38. Again, it's web copy, but they don't use a lot of commas. I have 86, so this is off. Apostrophes, so I'm using, I'm using more apostrophes basically than they are. They have a couple questions. I have none. Hyphens, about the same. Parentheses, about the same. But if we look at this, average sentence length is about the same. But if we look here, so the number of sentences with 12 words. You can see they're a little more front loaded here. Whereas, okay, and you got to be careful with the, the little bottom thing here. Basically, you can mess with this and it will update. If I take, let's see, if I take this really long sentence out, it'll start to, let's say, I put a period in here. You can see you can move the maps so they're more similar. But yeah, that's how I do it. 